Welcome back everyone, when using Windows 10 or Windows 11, you might encounter issues like your PC or laptop not responding, running slowly or getting stuck on the blue screen. Sometimes you may even face startup problems. In these situations, the best option is often to reset or reinstall Windows. However, you might be worried about losing your data. In this video, I will show you two ways to reinstall Windows without losing any of your data or applications. Let's get started. Now the first method is very simple and easy. Right click on the Windows icon and let's select settings. Then from the left menu, click on Windows Update. Next, click on Advanced Options and look for the Recovery option and click on it. Here you'll see two options. The first is fix problems without resetting your PC. If you click on it, you'll find all sorts of troubleshooting options for different components on your computer. Now go back and let's look at the other option, fix problems using Windows Update. This is the first method we'll be trying. It reinstall Windows, but preserve all the data, applications, and settings. To use this method, click on reinstall now, you'll see a message stating will repair components and system files. You can read the rest on your own. Then confirm by clicking on OK. After that, it will download and reinstall your current version of Windows and help you fix your issues. If the first method doesn't fix your issue, you can try the second method, which is more effective. Now this time, instead of reinstalling the current version of your Windows, whichever you're using 10 or 11, will download a fresh copy of Windows and reinstall it without losing any of your data or applications. We need three things, a USB drive with at least eight gigabyte of space, a Windows ISO image, and a free tool called Rufus to create our bootable USB for reinstalling Windows. First, let's download the Windows ISO and the Rufus. Open your browser, and search for the version of Windows you want to install. For example, download Windows 11 ISO. And from the result, click on the first link, which should be the official Microsoft website. Once you're there, scroll down to the section labeled Download Windows 11 Disk Image, and from the drop-down, select Windows 11 Multi-Edition. Then click on Download. Choose your product language and click on confirm. And then click on the 64-bit download. The download will start and the file is around 6 gigabyte, so just be patient until it finishes. While the Windows ISO is downloading, let's download Rufus. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Click on the first link from the result once you're at this page, scroll down and click on the second link, which is the portable version that you can run without installation. Once Rufus is downloaded, open the file and click on the exe file. Click yes on the dialog that appears and you should see Rufus window. Make sure your USB drive is inserted it should show up in the device dropdown. Under boot selection, click on select button and browse to the location where you have downloaded the Windows ISO. Select it and click on open. You could leave everything else as default, then click on start. Confirm on the dialog that appears and the process will begin. Once you have your Windows bootable USB ready, leave it inserted in your computer and let's boot from it. To do this, restart your computer and press the BIOS key while Windows is starting to open the BIOS settings. The BIOS key can vary by computer models. Here is a list of common BIOS keys you can refer to. Link is in the descriptions. Once you're in the BIOS, change the boot priority order and select the USB device option to boot from the USB we created. Once it restarts, you'll see the Windows 11 logo. After a moment, you'll arrive at the installation page. 
Start by choosing your language, time, and keyboard. Then click on Install Now. If you know your product key, enter it here. Otherwise, click on I don't have a product key. And it will automatically use the one you currently have on the system. Next, choose your Windows Edition. Now make sure you select the same one you currently have. If you had Windows 11 Pro, for example, make sure to choose Windows 11 Pro only. Check the agreement box and click on next. And here we arrived at the most important part. It will ask you which type of installation you want. Just make sure you click on custom. Once you do, it will list all your partitions. Look for the one where your Windows is already installed. You can usually identify it by the size of the C drive. For example, you might see drive zero, partition three, which contains 63 gigabyte with 21 gigabyte free space. The other partitions will likely be in the megabyte range, so you can confidently choose this one. Now, if you're not sure, you can skip the installation, go back to your windows, check the size of your C drive, and then restart the process. Now let's click on next, and you'll see a message stating that the partition you chose contains files from the previous Windows installation. These files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows.old. Now this is another indication that you are installing Windows on the same partition. Now let's click on OK and the Windows installation will start. Now you can sit back and relax until it's done. Once it's done, you have successfully reinstalled a fresh copy of Windows with all your data preserved. And any issues or errors you encountered before should be resolved now. Now you might be wondering where to find your data, so anything you had on your desktop is still there as you can see. To check your files and folders, open File Explorer, go to this PC, and then to your C drive, here you'll find a folder named windows.old. Double click on it, then double click on users and select your username from the old windows. Inside, you'll find all your data. You can copy these folders or move them to your new user account. Once you have copied these files to the new location, you can go back and delete the windows.old folder to save some space on your computer. All right, those were the two methods to reinstall windows without losing your data and applications. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. Until next time, bye for now.